Neville Goddard, a renowned spiritual philosopher, emphasized the transformative power of the imagination in shaping our reality. His teachings propose that our external world is a direct reflection of our internal state of consciousness. One of his core techniques involves harnessing the power of imagination to manifest our desires. This guide will delve into Goddard's teachings on how to imagine clearly and effectively, providing practical steps to utilize your imagination as a tool for manifestation. By understanding and applying these principles, you can unlock your potential to create the life you desire. The first step in Neville Goddard's teachings on harnessing the power of imagination is to relax and focus. Find a quiet place. Choose a location where you won't be interrupted or distracted. This could be a room in your house, a spot in your garden, or even a quiet corner in a park. The key is to find a place where you feel comfortable and can relax. Sit comfortably and close your eyes. Find a comfortable position where your body can remain still for a while. This could be sitting on a chair, cross-legged on the floor, or even lying down. Close your eyes to minimize visual distractions and help you focus inward. Take deep breaths and relax your body. Start by taking slow, deep breaths. As you inhale, imagine positive energy filling your body. As you exhale, imagine any tension or stress leaving your body. Continue this pattern of breathing, and with each breath, allow your body to relax more and more. Silence your inner chatter and bring your attention to the present moment. Our minds are often filled with thoughts about the past or the future. Try to let go of these thoughts and bring your attention to the present moment. If you find your mind wandering, gently bring it back to the present. You can focus on your breath, the sensations in your body, or even repeat a calming word or phrase to help you stay present. This process of relaxation and focus is crucial as it prepares your mind for the imaginative work to come. It helps you shift from your everyday conscious thinking to a more receptive, subconscious state where effective visualization can occur. Engaging your senses is the second step of Neville Goddard's teachings on the power of imagination. Don't just think, feel. When you imagine your desired outcome, don't just think about it, feel it. Feel the joy, satisfaction, or peace that you would experience if your desire were already fulfilled. This emotional connection is what brings your desire to life in your imagination. Imagine the sights, sounds, smells, tastes, and textures. Make your imaginal scene as vivid and detailed as possible. If you're imagining a new house, for example, visualize the color of the walls, the sound of the doorbell, the smell of fresh paint, the taste of your first meal there, and the texture of the new furniture. Engaging all your senses makes the scene feel more real and intensifies the associated emotions. The more vivid your imagination, the more powerful your feeling of living in the end. The goal of this process is to reach a state where you feel as if your desire has already been fulfilled, a state that Goddard refers to as living in the end. The more vividly you can imagine your desire, the more real it feels, and the more powerful this state of living in the end becomes. Remember, according to Goddard, your subconscious mind doesn't distinguish between real experiences and imagined ones. So, the more real your imaginal scene feels, the more likely your subconscious mind is to accept it as reality and manifest it in your external world. Incorporating specific details into your imaginal scene is a key aspect of Neville Goddard's teachings. The more specific and detailed your imaginal scene, the stronger the impression it makes on your subconscious mind. Specific details make the scene more vivid and real, which helps to convince your subconscious mind that the scene is a reality. This is crucial because your subconscious mind is responsible for manifesting your desires. When constructing your imaginal scene, try to include as many specific details as possible. This could include the location of the scene, the people involved, their expressions, your own emotions, and any other sensory cues that make the scene feel real. For example, 
If you're imagining a scene where you're receiving an award, you might include details like the weight of the award in your hands, the sound of applause, the proud expressions on your loved one's faces, and the feeling of joy and accomplishment. One of the most important details to include in your imaginal scene is your own emotions. How would you feel if your desire were already fulfilled? Would you feel joy, gratitude, relief, excitement, peace? These emotions are the driving force behind your manifestation. By feeling the emotions of your wish fulfilled, you're signaling to your subconscious mind that your wish is a reality. Remember, the goal of this process is not just to visualize your desire, but to live in the feeling of your wish fulfilled. The more real and detailed your imaginal scene, the more effective your manifestation will be. Feeling the emotions associated with your desire is a critical part of Neville Goddard's teachings. When you're constructing your imaginal scene, it's important not just to visualize the scene, but also to feel the emotions associated with it. This is because emotions are a powerful force that can impress your subconscious mind and bring your desire into reality. As you visualize your scene, imagine the positive emotions you would feel if your desire were already fulfilled. This could be joy, gratitude, excitement, satisfaction, or any other positive emotion. The specific emotion will depend on your desire. For example, if you're imagining a scene where you've just landed your dream job, you might feel a sense of accomplishment and excitement. Allow these positive emotions to fill you up. Feel them in every part of your body. The more intensely you can feel these emotions, the more real your imaginal scene will feel to your subconscious mind. Finally, let these emotions overflow your imaginal scene. Imagine these emotions radiating out from you and permeating every part of your scene. This helps to further impress your subconscious mind and bring your desire into reality. Repetition and persistence are key principles in Neville Goddard's teachings on the power of imagination. Don't expect instant results. Manifestation is not always an instant process. It requires patience and trust in the process. Don't be discouraged if you don't see immediate results. Remember, every seed takes time to germinate and grow. Consistent practice is key. Consistency is crucial when it comes to practicing imagination. Make it a part of your daily routine. The more consistently you practice, the more deeply you impress your desires upon your subconscious mind, and the more likely they are to manifest in your reality. Dedicate time each day. Dedicate a specific time each day to your imaginal sessions. This could be first thing in the morning, last thing at night, or any other time that works for you. Even if it's just for a few minutes, this dedicated time can make a big difference. Your ability will improve over time. As with any skill, your ability to imagine clearly and vividly will improve with practice. Over time, you'll find it easier to create detailed imaginal scenes and to feel the emotions associated with your wish fulfilled. Your subconscious will become more receptive. The more you practice this technique, the more receptive your subconscious mind becomes to your desires. This increased receptivity can help to speed up the manifestation process. Remember, the key to successful manifestation is not just to visualize your desire, but to live in the feeling of your wish fulfilled. With repetition and persistence, you can make this feeling a natural part of your daily life. Additional tips. Start small if you're new to this. Begin with simple desires and gradually work your way up. Incorporate your senses, use music, scents, or other sensory cues to enhance your imaginal experience. Believe and feel remember. Your belief and emotions are crucial ingredients for successful manifestation. Enjoy the process, don't turn it into a core. Focus on the positive feelings and the joy of imagining your desires fulfilled. Neville Goddard's technique is not a magic bullet. It requires commitment, practice, and a willingness to believe in your own power. Remember, it's a tool to support your goals, not a replacement for taking action in the real world.